See, I think about our sponsors. <laughs> okay. Yep. All right. Hi, everyone. This is Fali here from Zeppelin Co. And tonight at Sikaras at Zep, we have our featured artist Jason Yu. All right. Jason Yu has uh, recently released a new single uh, called Now I Know. All right. Uh, it's a prelude to his upcoming EP. So look out for it. All right. Uh, so today we are going to ask uh, Jason a few questions. Mm-hmm. Uh, to know more about him as an artist, uh, and I guess you know um, us being a cafe and all, you have yep. tried our coffee. How is it? Yeah, I think it's good. Uh-huh. <laughs> Crap. Uh huh. <laughs> I like my coffee, but I'm not a connoisseur. So uh-huh. let me see. Wow, you know the amount of fruitiness, the, the bitterness, and the sourness is just a perfect blend. No, uh, no, I don't know what I'm talking about, but it's good. I like it. All right, all right, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, I guess uh, what I mean, music is not an easy thing to do in mm-hmm. Singapore, especially mm-hmm. to start out in Singapore. What was the moment which made you choose music, and what made you stuck with it? Okay, so I think I made the decision to. Okay, so uh, a bit, little bit of background about mm-hmm. me. I always love music, lah. Uh, growing up, I spent a lot of my free time listening to music, just singing along to the radio and stuff. So, it's been a, it's like it's a favorite pastime of mine. But about when I was thirteen to fourteen, I was invited by my friends to like uh, form a band, and then we went to participate in a few small competitions, and mm. then uh, we won like a f- one or two of them. Wow. And that gave me some encouragement and I guess some sort of validation in like doing this thing because people were like encouraging me and uh-huh. like, it seemed like a thing I could do. And somehow I enjoyed it. I right, really right. enjoyed Fantastic. doing it. Yeah. And so uh I took the uh when I had to go to Bali uh-huh. after secondary school, uh-huh. I took the opportunity to learn uh, music production. Mm-hmm. So I went to Republic Poly to take a diploma in Sonic Arts. And I guess there wasn't one specific moment that made me decide, okay, I'm going to do music. Mm-hmm. But it's just, I've always leaned to that path. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, I never really took um, concrete steps to building a career. It's right. always like, I want to learn more about it. Uh, I want to be a music person, but uh-huh. I never really put myself out there la, until about four years ago after I, what I did <laughs> okay. uh, I tried my hand at basking ah yeah. right right how, yeah. how when, where was it yet what was your first uh, basking at so my first very first bask I did it outside Marina Bay Sands because uh-huh. I thought that um, traffic there should be not bad mm-hmm. and then if like tourists they see me, they might want to like throw some money at me, which is, would be great. So yeah. that's why I chose that. And also, you know, um, there's a huge busking, actually there's a growing busking scene in Singapore, especially at Orchard Road. Mm-hmm. And see, at that point of time, I already knew Orchard Road, like it has a lot of buskers. So I didn't go there straight away because like, I knew there would be competition and I wasn't that confident in my act yet. So I didn't want to go there straight away. I went to MPS. Ah, yeah. uh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, uh, so maybe tell me more about um, your guitar, your choice of guitar, actually. Yeah. Right. Yeah? Okay. Let's take a look at it. So, guys, this is... Does it have a name? Does it have a name? 16. This does not have a name. I actually don't name my guitars. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, not sponsored at all by Yamaha, but uh, this guitar, I got it last year, actually, and... Uh, my a bunch of friends helped pay for it uh, mm. for my birthday last year. So shout Happy out birthday. to Ryan, Jenna, Chris, and everyone who chipped in. Yeah. So yeah. Well, uh, any more yeah, in-depth yeah. questions about it? All right. Yeah. So um, you mentioned earlier that you have three guitars. Mm. Yeah. So um, what 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 was your history behind them? Okay. So, I'll, I'll put this guitar on. Yeah, no worries. Okay, so my very first... If you don't count the guitar my mom has, which uh-huh. is the very first guitar uh-huh. I uh, tried playing on, yeah. um, 
my the very first guitar my parents bought for me is a Walden uh, G570 CE and I got it when I was 15 and that's only because um, I kind of broke my mom's classical guitar. Oh. <laughs> the one, yeah. Uh, I, I leaned it on a wall and then it, it dropped and then like maybe I did it purposely to get a new guitar uh -huh. from them but uh -huh. yeah so that's how I got my first guitar and then I, that stuck with me for a few years and then I'm a huge fan of Ed Sheeran mm. actually so um, and I'm amazed by what he could do with that small little Martin like he goes on tour with that and for sure like the equipment that he has like the the live sound um, the processors the equip like the, the the stage set up, everything, and the speakers all help to make the sound, make the guitar sound so good. Mm -hmm. But I'm just amazed, like, this little small guitar can, he's still using it. So when he announced his very first uh, signature edition, mm -hmm. the Little Martin LX1E Action Edition, uh -huh. I bought it. So I gigged with that for quite a bit. Um, and then I upgraded to a bigger size Martin. So that Martin is a triple O 15M and uh, it's stuck with me and it's my main guitar now. But those guitars are uh, stuck in Melbourne because yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, I was actually studying in Australia and uh -huh. then I came back to Singapore. Home. Actually, I came back in March. But uh -huh. okay. So I came back and then to do some gigs, I didn't bring my stuff back because I was intending to return like just after the weekend. But then... COVID happened and then I was stuck in Singapore and I have this guy, yeah. All right, so um, you have been um, around for quite a while now and um, mm -hmm. 26 you actually, years. Uh, <laughs> actually showed some skin in some of the media, mm -hmm. all right? So I would like to ask you, I'm, I'm sure you had some interesting fans. Uh, okay, how about you define interesting? I don't know what. Who's your most interesting fan, and is there many memorable fans that um, you know um, stand out to you? Do um, you have any hardcore fans yet? I would say I have a bunch of fans that, uh -huh. just a handful, I think, that are uh, very, very supportive of what I do. Um, every time I put out content, they'd mm. be the first to try to engage with it and to show their love and their support, which I appreciate appreciate so much because what can an artist do without their fans? Yeah, what can a musician do without their listeners? So I wouldn't call them the most interesting fans, but they're the ones that are the most important to me. And of course my friends and my family who they support me. Yeah. All right. All right. So uh one more question. All right. So um if you weren't doing music, all mm. right, um, what would be what would you be doing? So like, has to be outside of the realm of music, right? Not even like a music teacher. Or... Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think I'm quite an idealistic person. Like mm. the reason I chose music as a profession is because of how much I enjoy music in general, and I really wanted to do something in life that I was passionate about. All right. And another thing I spend a lot of time doing is playing games, <laughs> like video games. But then I think I'm better in music than video games. Like, it's not easy to be a professional gamer. Like, uh -huh. competition is tough. But uh, I love playing, like, Smash Bros. Anyone play Smash Bros? Yeah, yeah, yeah boy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, if you want to add, uh, what's your game attack? Oh, uh, Nintendo doesn't work the same way as like Xbox game attacks. You need to share a friend code. So I don't remember my friend code, right, but right. you can um, send me a DM on Instagram at JasonY Triple U uh, for a match. I'm always ready. Yeah. My main is Link. <laughs> Thank you for being with us. Uh, this is Fali from Zeppelin and Co. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram at Zeppelin and Co. And Facebook at Zeppelin and Co. Or visit us at our website www.zeppelinandco.com Thank you Thank you for having me